Ewan? Yes? Are you going to play Obi-Wan Kenobi again? Here's what we know about the untitled Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi series so far. In 2017, Star Wars fans learned an Obi-Wan spinoff with Ewan McGregor in the title role was being developed for the big screen. But after Solo, a Star Wars story didn't live up to expectations. Lucasfilm pressed pause on all of its spinoff plans in the summer of 2018. <sighs> Always on the move. Fast forward one year to D23 in 2019, where fans were treated to an entertaining reveal from Lucasfilm Prez, Kathleen Kennedy. Ewan? Yes? Are you going to play Obi-Wan Kenobi again? Yes. If you think Ewan looks relieved, you have no idea. Having to hide the fact that he was coming back as Obi-Wan for years had some unexpected consequences. I'd have to go, well, you, you. You know, I'd be, if they, if they wanted to do one, I'd be quite interested in doing it. And it started to look a bit like I was just trying to get the part. And it started <laughs> to hurt my pride, because I thought, people actually think they're considering someone else. Now, yeah, you know it's kind I mean? of like, sad now. They're yeah. looking for someone else to play the part. At the expo, Kennedy also confirmed that scripts for all six hour-long episodes had been completed, with filming slated to begin in 2020. In true Star Wars fashion, a lot remains under wraps, but we do know when the series will take place, thanks to McGregor's October 2019 interview with Men's Journal. According to McGregor, the storyline sits between Episode 3 and Episode 4. If you remember how Revenge of the Sith ended, with Kenobi's Anakin turning dark and slaughtering Jedis left and right, you can bet this will be a turbulent time for a character who's left to pick up the pieces after the Jedi Order falls apart. Beyond this crucial story detail, we remain in a galaxy of speculation. But who better to prophesize cameo possibilities than Yoda himself? Remember, he did tell Obi-Wan he might encounter Qui-Gon's Force Ghost in The Revenge of the Sith, so hopefully that means a Liam Neeson sighting on Disney+. Plus. Qui-Gon? How to commune with him? I will teach you. So far, the only cast member that has been made official is McGregor, who last touched the Star Wars universe in 2015 with an uncredited role voicing Obi-Wan in The Force Awakens. I was beginning to wonder if you'd got my message. He hasn't suited up as Kenobi since 2005, but the 15-year hiatus may allow him to better embody the character. McGregor has said that he's excited to get closer to how Obi-Wan felt when Alec Guinness was playing him, which may be easier now that he's a lot grayer than he once was. A month after D23, it was announced that Deborah Chow had been tapped to direct the series. In addition to filming episodes of Better Call Saul, American Gods, and Mr. Robot, Chow directed two episodes of The Mandalorian in season one, and her efforts didn't go unnoticed by Kathleen Kennedy. The Lucasfilm head honcho expressed utmost confidence in Chow to tell this story based on her phenomenal work developing the Mandalorian characters. The series is being written by Hossein Amini, who adapted the screenplay for Drive, Snow White and the Huntsman, and more recently penned three episodes of The Alienist on TNT. The series does not yet have a release date or a title. With shooting starting in 2020, it may be a while before the episodes air on Disney Plus. So just, you know, relax, take a deep breath. Okay, that's distracting. 